Hey everyone, welcome back to the place for testing every single mask on Amazon, especially KN95s. We're doing a KN95 day. Super excited to check out the Supply Aid mask. Why am I excited? Because I have mental problems, but also this is one of the most popular masks on Amazon. 72,000 ratings, how's that possible? We will see if it's an amazing mask or if it's hot garbage. Let's get into it. Hot garbage is the word of the day. All right, let's put this in here. So uh, this is the most popular KN95 on Amazon, and it's not a KN95. How can I tell? I'll show you. You too can be a nerd like me. And if you've watched one of my videos, you've watched all of my videos because they're, they're the exact same. It's, the, it's the same thing. So if you're watching this like a, a second video, it must be because you like going to sleep or something. I guarantee you that's what's going on. It's like somebody's like, it's like some sort of meditative thing. This is like, uh, some perverse version of ASMR or something. All right, so how can I know that this is a fake CAN95 just by looking at it, or even better, just by looking at the listing? Because it says CAN95 2626-2006, which is funny, um, and that's the standard that you're uh, held to as CAN95, but it doesn't have the manufacturer name. It's missing that. Without the manufacturer name on the mask, it cannot be identified outside of the package. And the Chinese standard requires that it be identified outside of the package. Why? Because if it's a mask, they want you to know it. <laughs> I mean, that's why. NIOSH, which is uh, the, uh, the US's standard, FFP2, which is the European standard, they all require that you put the actual manufacturer name on the thing. So I can tell you already that this thing, yes, the most popular mask on Amazon is a fake KN95. Now, Will it pass standards here? We'll see, I don't know, we'll see. And so why does that matter? Why does it matter if they're not doing these things? Well, typically I've found that if they're not doing the simple things, like just putting their manufacturer name, um, and the reason why they don't want to put their manufacturing name probably is because the name sounds foreign and supply aid, supply aid sounds like you know an American brand. It's like a really good brand, it's a great brand. That's probably why it's one of the more popular masks on Amazon. So by not putting the manufacturer name on here, it's allowing them to sell it as something else. So they're kind of going undercover. All right, let's take a look at this. Great construction on that. I'm gonna put this on. No smell, none, no smell. Zip. Wow. Good job, guys. No smell, and I think it has to do with this, ah, active carbon packet that they're throwing in here. This is genius. I've never seen this and it's awesome. They put this in the bag and it completely eliminated the smell. That's really cool. I like that quite a bit. Um, so great, no smell. Um, they're not passing the KN95 standard or they're, they're lying about being a KN95, but does that matter if it doesn't protect you? That's what this machine is for. That's why I invested $250,000 for you at home, actually, no, I, I invested it for the mass factory, but I'm letting you peek into our lab and see if this passed the standards. What do you think? The most popular mask on Amazon. You think it's gonna pass? Nope. I was way off. This is the second worst mask that we've had today. 67.661, 67.661. That is a bad mask. It's not a KN95. It's not passing the standard. What's the breathability on that? 121, pretty good breathability, but you know, it's not providing much protection. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you were one of the 75,000 people that left a five-star review for this product, wow, you should be ashamed of yourself. Why did you not have a $250,000 lab and test this yourself? Mm. Just, uh, just don't know what I think about you. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you, and I will catch you on the next test.